So you want to play Survivor because you've played the default mode and the default mode doesn't challenge you quite enough. So I'll show you how to do that. You want to make sure that in your mods folder, you have pasted the Survivor modlets from optional mods right into your mods folder. Then you launch the game, which will eventually take you to this screen, obviously. And when you create a new game, what you will have to do is to make sure you select one of the two maps that will show up under your game world. So the 6K map puts the various traders closer together. So each trader, each custom trader that you're used to having at your base will now have their own POIs. And obviously the 8K is a little bigger. Traders are much further away from each other. It's a bigger trek to go from one to the other. So uh, we can pick the 6K just for this one. And uh, we'll start the playthrough and see what this looks like. So this is how you're supposed to start Survivor. And what you'll find in Survivor is that you start within a POI and you have a number of things that are different from the base game or the default mode of Rebirth. So you won't have any of your traders at the base. Your survivors that you hire will bail on you during Horde Nights. You won't be able to see inside of the trader compounds after 10 o'clock. And if you were to talk to any of the traders, they won't actually talk to you before, I think it's about 6 a.m. So even if it's morning around 4 and they're open, you won't be able to talk to them just yet. Picking your class is not something that you do straight from the beginning. You actually have to find Briston on the map. So Briston won't talk to you until you reach player level 8. So you will have until player level 8 to survive and gather up a number of things. There will be no progression other than your player, uh, player level and all of your genetics, given that these are learned by doing. And if you can't find Briston on the map, then you can go back to Daryl, which you're being asked to talk to, and he will point you towards Briston. And Briston, just to let you know, is about one kilometer away from Daryl's position. There will be no cooked food and loot. There will be no drinks and loot. Everything that you have been given in the default mode, you now have to do yourself. So it's more challenging. The progression is twice as slow, so it makes for a longer playthrough. It's a more challenging playthrough that way. And um, I personally prefer it to the default modes, but I guess... Uh, this is something that you'll have to discover for yourself. Enjoy.